All right, today we're gonna finish up the jack shaft and do a test run. Stay tuned. Okay, so I'm trying to fix the clearance issues I had with the front sprockets and trying to get them aligned. So what I did here is I took off about 3 16 of an inch here on the right side of the pillow block bearing mount um, and I took a little bit off the bearing uh, block as well. But basically I just hit that with the angle grinder and then over here I also ground down those welds a little bit. It's a little sloppy but that got me another eighth of an inch of clearance and then I needed to get this further out so what I did is I actually flipped the sprocket as well. So now I'm just going to go ahead and put the chain back on and see if hopefully it goes around now. Okay so instead of just using the U-bolts for mounting the motor because this is really thin and it's already starting to bend as you can see when I tighten it up. Um, I skipped these previously because there wasn't enough room. Um, I'm going to make enough room. Basically I'm just going to move these closer down uh, towards the sprocket instead of up here where it was. Um, that will give us a little bit more height and then also the holes aren't exactly lined up here. So I'm going to have to notch these a little bit uh, with, a, uh, with a drill bit there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and hopefully we can get that motor to fit in there. Alright, there we go. It's a little crooked, but that should be enough to uh, mount it up. Okay, I got the motor mounted up all nice there. Uh, that is a lot tighter now, so shouldn't have to worry about this tilting forward or back or anything. Um, now... I guess I'll go ahead and fit the chain and then it's time for the moment of the truth and see if this chain actually stays on now. Okay, so we got this uh, chain shortened, motor moved forward, um, everything's tensioned. Uh, when I move it, we're still kind of sticking part way there. I'm not sure if that's just because of resistance inside the motor. With the electric, uh, with the electric windings, the coils, or if it's because my front sprocket was welded out of alignment. Um, but I think at this point we're just going to have to hook up a little 12 volt battery and see if it throws the chain or not. Okay, so I got a little uh, test lead hooked up here to a little 12 volt battery. Um, it is a 24 volt motor, but it will run on 12 volts just fine for a test. Um, I don't have the keyways in. So this shouldn't take off or anything. We're just kind of going to tap it quick and then see if it moves. And I'm going to straddle the, the back wheel just in case so it doesn't take off. But uh, <laughs> this is iffy. Well, let's see if, what happens. Ah, that's better than I thought. It didn't throw it. That's a win. That is an official win. Awesome. Okay, so I was just looking at this uh, after the little test here. Um, I straightened it out, but the uh, the mount for the jack shaft that actually did get twisted a little bit from the torque. So I went ahead and tightened the muffler clamps up there, and it is straight again now. But um, in the future, I may need to just weld a little bit right there and there once I know it's going to stay in this spot. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, shorten up the shaft here with angle grinder and then uh, put in those T's and set screws. Okay, there we go. I uh, didn't have the set screws for it the sprocket for some reason. I don't know if I missed them or they didn't come in the mail with it if they were left out but I made some up with some Allen uh, screws there and then I got the uh, lighting's kind of bad but I got uh, the set screws on that one keys are in there uh, this thing's a roller it's ready to go so uh, yeah 
next video I'll probably be able to uh, get to doing some wiring. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Um, we got our chain on, jack shafts all done, uh, front motor mount is all taken care of. Well, I guess both motor mounts on the front side of the chain, whatever. Anyway, it's all coming together um, next week or the week after, depending on when the controller comes in. Um, we will be starting wiring, so we're finally going to be able to uh, do some fun stuff with it. So uh, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you guys next time.